హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు వివిధ్ కెమి యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈజ్ విద్యాశ్రీ దిస్ ఈజ్ పార్ట్ ఫోర్ వీడియో ఆన్ సొల్యూషన్ టు కర్ణాటక టెట్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ అండ్ సైన్స్ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ ఆఫ్ ది ఇయర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ నాట్ వాచ్డ్ పార్ట్ వన్ టు పార్ట్ ఫోర్ వీడియోస్ యూ క్యాన్ వాచ్ ఇట్ బై క్లికింగ్ ఆన్ ది ఐ బటన్ అపేరింగ్ ఆన్ ది స్క్రీన్ క్వశ్చన్ నంబర్ నైంటీ వన్ టు క్వశ్చన్ నంబర్ వన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ టెన్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ సాల్వ్డ్ ఇన్ మై ప్రీవియస్ వీడియోస్ విల్ బిగిన్ ద వీడియో విత్ క్వశ్చన్ నంబర్ వన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ఎలెవెన్ వెన్ ది పాలినామియల్ ఎక్స్ క్యూ మైనస్ ఫైవ్ ఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ త్రీ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ వన్ ఈజ్ డివైడెడ్ బై ఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ మైనస్ టూ దెన్ ది రిమైండర్ ఈజ్ ఆప్షన్ వన్ ఫైవ్ ఎక్స్ మైనస్ నైన్ ఆప్షన్ టూ ఎక్స్ మైనస్ ఫైవ్ ఆప్షన్ త్రీ ఎక్స్ మైనస్ త్రీ ఆప్షన్ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ ఎక్స్ మైనస్ టూ సో హియర్ యూ క్యాన్ యూజ్ ది నార్మల్ డివిజన్ మెథడ్ ఆఫ్ ది పాలినామియల్ ఆర్ ఎల్స్ యూ క్యాన్ అప్లై రిమైండర్ తేరమ్ యాజ్ వెల్ so first i'll explain you the division method for polynomial see we are given with the polynomial x cube minus 5x square plus 3x plus 1 now this has to be divided by x square minus 2 so what we have to do we have to consider the first term of the polynomial x cube and we'll consider the first term of the divisor it is x square we get is x so that x we will write as quotient multiplied x square into x is x cube minus 2x we'll just change the sign so as to simplify so x cube get cancels with one another and minus 2x becomes plus x here we have minus 5x square i'll write it as such then plus 3x minus 2x so we get sorry plus 3x plus 2x so this is 5x and this one also i'll bring down plus 1 so now we have minus 5x square as the first term divided by x square we get minus 5 write minus 5 as quotient so multiply it to the divisor so it is minus 5x square into x term is not there so let me write this as 0x in order to avoid the confusion minus 5 into minus 2 is plus 10 change the sign so minus 5x become plus this become minus this is also minus minus 5x square and plus 5x square get cancels with one another we are left with 5x here and 1 minus 10 is minus 9 so when the given polynomial is divided by x square minus 2 we get x minus 5 as quotient and 5x minus 9 as reminder so for the reminder here is option 1 5x minus 9 I told you using reminder theorem also you can find the reminder. So the given polynomial will consider this as p of x. Now you have to divide it by x square minus 2. We will find the value of x square. So x square is equal to 2 and x is root 2. So using reminder theorem here if you put the value of x as 2 sorry root 2 for the given polynomial you can find what the reminder is. So we will find what is p of root 2 so x cube will be root 2 cube minus 5 x square is root 2 square plus 3 root 2 plus 1 so square root cubed can be written as 2 root 2 minus 5 into root 2 square that will become 5 into 2 plus 3 root 2 plus 1 so 2 root 2 plus 3 root 2 i can write it as 5 root 2 and minus 10 plus 1 it is minus 9 so this is what is the expression that we get when we put p i mean x as root 2 if i substitute this root 2 as x again i'll get this as 5x minus 9 so this is how you find the reminder and the right answer is option 1 5x minus 9 is the reminder question number 113 in the given figure, BO and CO are the bisectors of angle ABC and angle ACB respectively. If angle BAC is 80 degree and angle ACO is 30 degree, then the measure of angle BOC is option 1, 130 degree, option 2, 120 degree, option 3, 90 degree, option 4, 60 degree. We are asked to find the measure of angle BOC so we need to find this angle let me denote this as x also they have given 
that BO and CO are the bisectors of angle ABC and ACB. So bisector means it divides the angle equally. So since they have given angle ACO as 30 degree, CO is the bisector. Therefore, angle OCB is also 30 degree. In order to find OBC, we will find what is angle B. Okay, we will consider triangle ABC. So in triangle ABC, some of the angles, angle A plus angle B plus angle C, we know it is 180 degree. Angle A is given, it is 80 degree. Angle B is what we have to find. Angle C means the overall angle I am speaking. It is angle ACB. So that is 30 plus 30, 60 degree, which is equal to 180. So angle B is equal to 180 degree minus 80 degree plus 60 degree. So this is 180 degree minus 140 degree and angle B is equal to 40 degree. So it is given that OB is the bisector of angle ABC. So overall B we have is 40 degree and this half is 20 degree remaining half is 20 degree. I mean to tell angle ABO is equal to angle OBC. So since OB is the angle bisector and both is equal to 20 degree overall angle means this angle B which is nothing but it is angle ABC. So that is equal to 40 degree. We are asked to find what is angle BOC which I have indicated as X. So in triangle BOC we have the sum of angles angle BOC plus angle OBC plus angle BCO is equal to 180 degree. Angle BOC is what we have to find it is X and angle OBC is 20 degree BCO is 30 degree which is equal to 180 degree. This implies X is equal to 180 degree minus 50 degree. So X is equal to 130 degree is the answer for angle BOC. So therefore the right answer here is option 1 130 degree. Next we will move to the pedagogy questions of mathematics. It starts from question number 114. Question number 114. The incorrect statement in relation with mathematics teaching and learning is Option 1. Mathematics knowledge can be created in primary class students through observation of pattern and generalization. Option 2. Argumentation and negotiation promotes mathematical knowledge. Option 3. Mathematical learning is a social process involving oral communication. Option 4. Culture and context has no role in constructing mathematical knowledge. So we need to find the incorrect statement in relation with mathematics teaching and learning. Here argumentation and negotiation promotes mathematical knowledge is a wrong thing. Arguments and negotiation will not promote mathematical knowledge. Therefore, the incorrect statement is option 2. And the right answer for this particular question is option 2. Question number 115. A student realizes that rectangle is both rhombus and square. The level of thinking according to Van Healy is option 1. Visualization level 0. Option 2. Analysis level 1, option 3, abstraction level 2, option 4, deduction level 3, sorry level 3. This Van Healy's theory related to mathematics pedagogy is very very important. So I will try to make a video on this particular topic if time permits. And the right answer for this question that when students realize rectangle is both rhombus and square, that level of thinking is it's level 2 abstraction. Right answer here is option 3. Question number 116. The appropriate learning material suitable for teaching a concept fractions at primary level. 
ऑप्शन वन नंबर चार्ट ऑप्शन टू कसने रॉक्स ऑप्शन थ्री अबकस ऑप्शन फोर जियो बोर्ड्स एंड द राइट आंसर हियर इज ऑप्शन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटीन द डिजायरेबल टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस इन मैथमेटिक्स इज ऑप्शन वन ओपन बुक टेस्ट शुड बी अवॉइडेड ऑप्शन टू स्टूडेंट्स आर इंस्ट्रक्टेड टू फॉलो स्टेजेस ऑफ सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स ऑप्शन थ्री शुड अवॉइड ओपन एंडेड क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन फोर इंट्यूटिव परसेप्शन ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट शुड बी एनकरेज द राइट आंसर हियर इज ऑप्शन फोर द डिजायरेबल टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस इन मैथमेटिक्स इज इंट्यूटिव परसेप्शन ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट हैज टू बी एनकरेज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड एटीन The topic was not be the part of primary school mathematics as per national curriculum framework 2005 is option 1 tessellation option 2 symmetry option 3 patterns option 4 ratio so the right answer here is option 4 ratio question number 119 the concept formation process emphasis in learning mathematics is option 1 induction option 2 deduction option 3 analysis option 4 synthesis it is induction method that emphasize the formation of concept and therefore the right answer here is option 1 induction question number 120 an activity is most suitable for development of spatial understanding in mathematics learning of primary school option 1 outlining the brim of the cup on a sheet option 2 locating parts of the body option 3 noting the length of shadow due to pole option 4 representation of numbers on the number line so the question is asked related to the development of spatial understanding and therefore the right answer here is option 1 outlining the brim of the cup on a sheet i'll stop this video here science questions will be solved in my upcoming videos thank you for watching like and share the video if the contents provided are useful to you subscribe to my channel for more updates